we're going to look at what I like to call the giddy up a lick. It's a concept that appears quite regularly in fingerstyle and it bounces over four chord voicings to a chord. We're going to study the lick performed over the chords E7, A7, D7 and G. There are two ways to play this lick. We can either play it with just the thumb and index finger or with the thumb, index and middle finger. So let's check it out. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's have a look at what the left and right hand are going to be doing for the giddy up a lick. So first, we're going to have to get our chords going here. So for E7, we're going to be playing an E chord first. Then we're going to play an F sharp diminished. Then a G diminished. Then a first inversion E. Then for A7, we're going to play an A with our thumb on the bass string here. So we've got an A, a B diminished, a C diminished, and then the first inversion A. And then these movements apply for the D. And back to G. Okay, they're the chords for the left hand. Now let's have a look at what the right hand is doing. So there's two ways to approach the giddy upper lick for the right hand. We can either play it with our thumb and index finger, which I'm going to show you now. We're going to have our thumb on the low E string, our index finger on the G string, our thumb on the D string, and then our index finger on the G string. Okay, and then that cycle continues. Okay, and then the other way to play this is with our middle finger, index, and thumb. So it's going to be thumb on the low E, index finger on the G, thumb on the D, and then our middle finger on the G. And then that cycle repeats as well. Okay, so let's apply now all of this together. We're going to get the left hand and the right hand going. So the way to I would explain this is to play the first three notes. And then every fourth note, we're going to lift up our left hand and let that open G string just play it on its own. So it'll be... And then you fret the chord, the next chord. And open G. So then you just continue that on, really. And the neat thing as well about giving that open G, you're giving, you're giving yourself enough time to reach the next chord. Okay, and then you just add that to the next chords. Okay, that's what I'm doing in A. Now for D. And then to G. So that's how you do that.